Jonathan O'Reilly at your service there, Sergeant. Is there anything I can do for the poor lad? Well, perhaps you just speak to his father. Well, I'll give it the good old fight now you're try. Now, me boy, I'm sure that no sin you committed is too great for the forgiveness of the Almighty. Oh, he left his father. Maybe you could convince him that his problems aren't really so bad. Good idea. Now, me boy, God is going to forgive you for embezzling $100,000 from United Way. No problem too great for the Almighty. But see, he's also going to forgive you for having an illicit affair with a 14-year-old Filipino boy. Uga! Okay, he'll forgive you for that one, too. And what's this? You bet against Notre Dame? While playing Michigan State, may you burn in hell, you heathen! Yay! You! Well, maybe you could talk some sense into your husband. Well, I'll try. <laughs> Hi, honey, it's Hi. me, Jane. Hi, Jane. Now I know how depressed you are at this very moment. And you have every right to be because you're an absolute loser as a man. Oh, so once in your life, dear, be successful and jump so we can jump. No! Oh, no! Take it, Sam, I'll take it from you. Come on, Sam. I told him to him. I've known Johnny for years. Well, I'll try anything once. Hey, Johnny, it's me, Norm, your bookie. Listen, I got seven or five odds you're gonna jump. You want any action? Great, I'll put you down for 20 bucks. Get out do it, do it, do it. What's the matter with you? Right. What's the over there. Camera over there. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Lee, Spike Lee. Okay, can we run down your character for you? The German Vietnam bed and suffer some jungle feet. Your wife thinks you're crazy because always she's got a habit. Let's see, uh, you got more better blues because you realize your school days are over. By now, you're a paranoid schizophrenic. You hear little boys following you, your mouth's a mess. You know, Can we get a helicopter shot on this? And remember, kids, you gotta do the right thing. And a tight shot on those Nikes. Okay, just do it. He's gonna jump! Yippee! Hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm telling you to clean up and you're coming out here and 
and you're always playing games. And you better watch it. Yes, I'm telling you, really not. Yes, boss, I think I have everything. I think I have everything, boss. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know what I know what Robert De Niro would say to him if he talked to him like that. <laughs>
like it? I've uh, called this meeting as a sort of progress report on the first half dozen or so millenniums of the Judeo-Christian Muslim religion, uh, which, as you know, worship me. Uh, now, uh, Junior, stop watching that Madonna video and pay attention. Now, uh, Moses, do you have any idea what it costs to have tablets engraved nowadays? I mean, I know you gotta sit over everyone party. Look at it this way. If I saw the ocean splitting in half and I didn't do it, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And it wouldn't even have come to that if you knew how to read a map. You were supposed to go up and around, remember? Stop that sniggering, Noah. At least he didn't forget the unicorns. You dip. <laughs> now, Junior, yes, yeah, very impressive. We've all seen you trickle water through your fingers 50 million times already. Now just sit down, shut up, and pay attention, me, damn it. Abraham. How you doing? Good, good. How's your son? That's good. Kill psych! I'm sorry. Uh, Muhammad, Muhammad, lighten up. Look, I know you were stood up for the divine intervention ball way back when, but that's no reason to take it out, and every woman I stew out of the primordial soup, okay? So just mellow out. And Junior! What's the problem now, right? I don't care that you don't want to take wood shop. No, that's not my problem, okay? No, you straighten that out with your school, all right? No, you, I, oh, myself, I should have had a girl. <laughs> and I told you this record company, young ass, not even bringing me. Now screw up one more time and you're fired. What? You have 11 o'clock with Mr. Tushki, sir. JB, 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 good to see you, sweetheart. Long time, no? Have we met? Have we met? I'm your grandmother's downstairs neighbor's nephew. You don't remember me? You were at my bar mitzvah. What do you want? What do I want? I've got the hottest rap group in the country outside that door. They're dying to see you. You got five minutes. Five minutes. It's going to take you five minutes just to thank me, you nut. Come on in, kids. You're going to love these kids. They're fantastic. Come on in, guys. You're They're all fine. Darts, who's playing darts? JB, I give you MC Heine with a dash of salt and pepper. Hit it, Mo! Hit it, Mo! Hit it, Mo! <laughs> My name is MC Heine. I'm the world's oldest rapper. <laughs> to shut all my appliances, I use the clapper. <laughs> then you say I can rap. Well, listen, Mr. Schmarty. I'm only 78 and I still can party. <laughs> well, I can't eat steak because my teeth can't chew it. I left my kids a lot of money, but you know they do it. I still flirt with the women. I think they knew it. When I might be old, but they still can do it. Well, I'll put a little erasion. I think they get the tap. That's because we're doing the geriatric rap. The geriatric rap. The geriatric rap. That's because we're doing the geriatric rap. I got a bunch, but I eat because my colon's plastic. I can't move too fast because my hip is plastic. When I go to sleep, I put my teeth in a cup. I can still get down, I just can't get up. Now I pull the little elation, I feel begin to tap. That's because we're doing the jetty at your grab. The jetty at your grab. The jetty at your grab. That's because we're doing the jetty at your grab. Word to your mother, don't forget your grandmother. Well, I must be getting old, I can't hear what you're saying. You want to hear more rap and start? Oi, he vain said, oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Clapping and your butts were moving. Ice, ice, baby. Well, they may be old, but their talent is real. <laughs> Tushki, baby, you got a deal. <laughs> then it's getting late. It's time to take a nap. <laughs> so I guess this is the 
welcome to a geriatric rap. The geriatric rap. The geriatric rap. I guess this is the end for the geriatric rap. I am a cervical cyborg implant programmed to kill every sperm entering your tiny little uterus. So it's hasta la vista, baby. Come on, honey. I've got the sperminator. Sperminator. A new sperminator, too. Because if he gets it up again, I'll be back. <laughs> Of course, 
there was Mama Cass, you know. Oh, she was great in bed. Oh, oh, yeah, but you know what I always said, Arsenio? If Mama Cass had given her ham sandwich to Karen Carpenter, they'd both still be alive today. <laughs> Oh, that's easy, yeah. Tony Fields. Tony Fields. Yeah, that fat cell comedian from the 60s who had a leg amputated. Yeah, I met her backstage at the Solomon Show in 68. Which leg was amputated? Oh, uh, yeah, which leg was that, anyway? Roy. There you go. <laughs>
five years, they should at least get 20! <laughs> Mr. Tyson is innocent.
Really? Sure, sure, you can say really, okay. That's not much of a question for Une, Bakken, and George. Take this notepad and do something, Une, Pate, D. Get the answers now. Underline every third word with a blue pencil A. Very well. <laughs> Watch this one. Hey, Pete Rose.
see him every week. And lots of the problem tonight. What could Monty's problem be? He's infinite. He's infinite. <laughs> See, there's one we never hear.
no, 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 what type of what type of activity would this creature be doing? What type of activity? What type of uh, the person are they? The person is a masseuse. Oh. A masseuse. <laughs> <laughs> really? My mother keeps feeding me those damn rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I come not to bury Fanatigan. I come to belay him. Pound your flesh on him. Mere Irish mortal. <laughs> Got a visit from a suit. Well, other than that, <laughs> what other items? Can a general go out? Sorry, he's a he's a nymphomaniac. <laughs> you, of course he is. He's a man. Show. So Jeff, the nymphomaniac, visits the masseuse. Do we have a problem? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. We definitely have a problem. Who the hell was wrong? No problem. <laughs> what is his problem? Oh, 
pumpkin, the pest that John John's pumpkin, and Teddy's car is sunken, the Kennedy family. Now John and Bob are dead, they caught shot in the head, and now we're stuck with Ted, the Kennedy family. <laughs> the lives that they are leading should help the case we're pleading. Please stop them all from breeding, the Kennedy family. This is David Duke for Lily White Detergent. Oh, it's foul detergent. My sheets have come out stingy and dark. So a new Lily White, I get the whitest white every time. This is what I got with my old detergent. It made David Cross burning mad. <laughs> this is what I got with new Lily White. As you can see, white is right. Try new Lily White detergent. And always remember to separate the whites from the colors. Oh, God, this new freedom is liberating. I feel so alive. Ah, me too, Ivan. To know that I am free to choose any job I wish. Da, this is truly a great time to be Russian. Da. Five hours in line, Natasha, for a piece of gray meat covered with fat. Oh, Do yes, it. yes, Boris. And the bread is so expensive. At least communists we could afford bread and the trip to mcdonald's once a month this free market is very costly excuse me but how can you say that this freedom is not wonderful oh yes we are free to eat gray gristle if we cough up two weeks pay isn't it glorious but we are finally free where is your sense of history it's the crucial finest hour well it certainly isn't lunch hour <laughs> Before the revolution, we were ruled by the Tsar. Then along came Lenin, we were USSR. He wore his crush the coup, a quite impressive feat. But we would be more happy if we had some food to eat. Russia, mother Russia, we have such faith in me. Russia, mother Russia, we pledge our love to you. But once we wouldn't give for some chicken for the blue. <laughs> <laughs> the communists were awful, committed many horrors. But now our hockey team has lost all of its scorers. We're joyful to no longer be known as Soviets. It gives us better access to a man
to wait. Uh -huh. My mama, she stopped working hard. 